Well, I'm in Bali, Indonesia. I'm originally from Germany, from the Black Forest. I need to minimize the cost. I moved to Brazil. Tiny left in March. Didn't come back yet, it's June. Because I had already some bottles of wine, I said, if it's 50,000, I buy it. The assistant came back and he said, Hank, they accepted your offer. <laughs> they arrested me and then they took me to a holding cell to a local nearby police station. So you're talking about about 20, I spent $20,000 what I gave them. Wow. Angel City is not like the rest of the Philippines. Uh, there's one reason people come to this area. Things happen, a couple of colleagues of mine go home on the weekend and never come back. They both died of heart attacks waiting for their retirement. And I decided right then and there that I was going to go get mine and li live, live a little bit dangerously, I'll say. So, so if you had to live on a thousand per month, where in the world would you go? So we just added a YouTube playlist so you could binge watch all of our guest stars on our new playlist. You come over here, you click Vagabond Awake, it'll take you over to our channel, and then you click on the playlist here, and it will take you uh, to the playlist, and right here says, see where it says guest stars? It could be anywhere in the playlist. These are all of our playlists, all the retired cheap uh, playlists by country, money, comparing countries, and all of that. But for the guest star, when you click here, and along this, it'll start playing the first one uh, once the commercial's over with. And then you can scroll down and see all of the other guest stars all over the world. So check out our new uh, guest star playlists and all of our other playlists. My home country is the United States, originally from Las Vegas, Nevada. Desert wrap, I, uh, originally. When I was in Ubud, it was $300 a month, everything included. In a luxury villa with a swimming pool, one bedroom, you know, with a canopy bed, uh, a helper, and ran the errands for us, would come in and do the cleaning, clean the pool, he would go uh, make runs to the market for us. 300 and you move to a new place, what, what's your rent now? $83 a month. And the total will be $1,000 for one year. Whether I stay a year or not, I'm already ahead. Three bedroom home, by the way. Everything is cheaper in Singaraja, where I'm at now. Dive instructor, 50% <laughs> <laughs> of the job was bullshit. And I moved to the Philippines to Coron in 1994, 28 years ago. When I was three, <laughs> I was I'm 31 now, I wish. I was 23 when I moved. Why did you come here? Mainly for the dive sites, because I'm a, I'm a diver and I like the wrecks. So we have this Japanese Second World War shipwrecks around here. And love is a lady in this area, obviously. Yeah. And then I just thought like, yeah, I'm gonna stay around here. 14 years ago, I'm in the Northeast of Brazil. Spicy fish stew. I got married here to a Brazilian woman. Brazil has a, a national health plan. That's all free. Hospitals are free. On the way out of the hospital, I said, where do we pay? And my wife said, pay? You don't pay, you don't pay for hospitals here. <laughs> You're living in the Philippines on your social security. And now you got to realize I've been here for a long time. 2001. All that time you were able to use your ATM card. All that time, no free checking account. They weren't going to charge me the international fee, nothing. I was all set. They knew I was going to live here. They gave me the card, fixed it so that I can use it. Social security is still putting my money in there. My card, don't work. card doesn't work anymore. <laughs> went all over the world, you know, we went to uh, America and Canada, uh, many places in Europe, of course, and Australia, New Zealand, Southeast Asia, to find a new home. And I went back alone to Thailand, uh, to a place called Chiang Kong. Don't ever go there because it's terrible, but I went there. <laughs> <laughs> I only had one very good friend at the time, and her name was Whiskey. The one guy that I was friends with, he was from the USA. He had done two years and 10 months, hardcore Thai prison, but he said that was actually better than where we were. Because said like their uh, mice and uh, sparrows could get in and they could catch them and eat them and stuff for a little bit of meat and things like that. That's great. When I got divorced in the United States, we couldn't come up with a solution for the house. And I made a solemn oath to myself that day that I was going to build me a house. I didn't know when, I didn't know where, I didn't know how. Then no one would ever be able to take from me. People that are familiar with like Pattaya, Thailand, it's kind of like a miniature, it was a miniature version of that. Pattaya has always been big, 
bigger. But Patty has, you know, has other things like the beach. Here in Angeles, you don't. Nightlife. Okay. Uh, we are in basically the outskirts of Angeles City. Got here as a 21 year old. Uh, doesn't get much better than that, right? Three bedroom, three bath. And it's beautiful. It's just, what, what did it cost roughly? 100,000. 100,000 yeah. bucks. Some remodeling. Say we're about 115. Uh, we didn't want to rent. So you've been slow traveling around Eastern Europe for 11 months. Is that right? Well, yeah. So I went to Albania September 5th of 2020. I was there for eight months till April. And then I came home and then I went back in October of last year to a year ago. And I just came back again. So I'm kind of splitting time between family here in the U.S. and traveling over there. How would you define slow travel in your own words? Getting to know the locals better. Spending time in not traditional resort areas, although I did do some a couple of boat cruises and those kinds of things. Located myself in an area where I could use it as a jump off point to go to other places, staying in one location, doing research on areas I wanted to go see nearby. I have two things I need to share with you. First, we're looking for more guest stars to share experiences living overseas so we can all learn from each other. To share your story, uh, come to Vagabond Buddha and click the more uh, tab here and click on contact me. And let me, uh, there'll be a form that comes up for you there and leave an email for me uh, to share your story. Let me know what sort of information you'd like to share, including the cost of living, health care or health insurance or any other tricks or tips about retiring overseas. And Ubud is an absolutely uh, beautiful place. If anyone who's thinking about coming to Bali, um, you can't do any better than U Ubud, in my opinion, for the culture and the food and the people. It absolutely was an amazing experience. Yeah. This thing about Indonesia, you need to understand, especially Bali, you never leave the jungle. You're either in a jungle or you're in agricultural farmland. Ubud is actually one of the more expensive tourist areas. Singaraja is more of a village atmosphere. Prices, I would say, are about a third less than they were in Ubud. To go to a restaurant and get something to eat, it can be anywhere from 15 to 30 rupees would be would be an average meal. Basically for a dollar fifty you can eat well here. I came here straight. I met a guy who owned an island down here and he invited me then he knew I had nothing to do over the winter. He said, so why you don't come down for like six months and enjoy life a little bit and then I can go to university what was my plan then me and my now wife the time girlfriend we bought an island ourselves in 1996 so we developed into a small backpacker resort okay in 97 we opened and then we run that one until 2003 and you're here for 28 years now you're a Filipino now more than a German uh, huh? it's, not, it's not that bad I'm still on time and I say <laughs> 8 o'clock I mean 8 o'clock <laughs> so you have a German <laughs> clock still at least a yeah yeah it's cheap living here if you're if, if you're out of the big cities you no know, foreigners can can buy land in Brazil without a problem about seventy five thousand dollars will buy one of these apartments that uh, you would pay four hundred dollars a month to rent okay my current Social Security pension is $859. The richest I have ever been in my life. I don't have 79 people that I'm supporting here anymore. I just got me. This apartment that we just showed everybody yeah, we'll show um, cost me $5,000 a month. Right? It's 100 bucks. 100 bucks for this apartment. She was amazing. Uh, <laughs> for at least one year, she was my true companion. I met my wife my present wife there it's only one problem she could not speak english and i couldn't speak thai <laughs> that was a lot of body language but anyway finally <laughs> finally we made it through and uh, had uh, three children okay i'm just finishing a course that will teach you how to retire cheap in paradise all over the world that course will be coming out in a couple of weeks and will be included for all existing members. But if you're not a member, make sure to get on our emailing list so you'll have a chance to join before we raise our prices. Uh, the way you get on the email list is you come over to uh, the free ebook here uh, on vagabondbuddha.com and you put in your uh, name and uh, email at the bottom here, sign up, and then and then when we're gonna raise prices, we'll send you out an email and make sure you get noticed. Being in Thai prison was one of the best things that ever happened to me in my life. Living like that, it really changes your outlook on things and makes things real. 
I can't really talk about what was in there because I could get in trouble here. It's uh, rice and cucumber soup three okay. times a day, whether you wanted it or not. You have to be deported because you're a criminal. <laughs> now it's like a 500 baht fine a day for overstay. And back then it was harsher in some ways, but easier to come back. I had to be in custody until I was on the plane. They actually escorted me onto the plane. You don't have to make as much to have a, a good life here. Also true as well, yeah. Could you live the rest of your life here? Uh, yeah, I could, could live the rest of my life if I have the possibility to move along and travel. I miss traveling. We didn't travel since two and a half or three years now almost because of pandemic. Obviously. Right. What countries have you been to during that period and, and how much time did you spend in each country? Pretty much all of Eastern Europe. Um, so it's probably easier for, you to, for me to say which countries I wasn't in. Kosovo right. and Romania are the only two countries I didn't go to. So Slovakia, Slovenia, Croatia, Serbia, Bosnia, Albania, Greece, Macedonia, Bulgaria. I, di I didn't get to Turkey um, on, a, on a boat from Greece to Italy. We all know that a thousand dollars used to be a thousand dollars, but a thousand dollars isn't that much nowadays, you know? Yeah. But a thousand dollars, okay, I'll, I'm going to have to cut out a lot of countries. <laughs> Even in Asia, there are countries where you have it difficult to, to live on a thousand dollars. I mean, you can't live at a thousand dollars in Singapore, oh, of course. In Taiwan and places like that. Yeah. I would imagine, yes, you can still live for a thousand dollars in Vietnam and definitely Philippines, you know. Yeah. But uh, a lot of countries in, in Asia are, are out, of, out, of the, out, of, out of the picture. But in Latin America, Colombia, Argentina, definitely. Peru, there's a beautiful city in Peru called Arequipa. I love Arequipa. Which I know somebody <laughs> we, we hold very dearly <laughs> loves. <laughs> you want to eat better quality, yeah, you might pay a little bit more. But we do cook a lot at home also. I mean, last week, for example, friend, we went to the to the, to the beach and we got huge barracuda. <clears throat> we also got a, a decent sized mahi-mahi. We barbecued them right outside here in my yard <laughs> using uh, coconut husk, dry coconut coconut husk is what they use to burn. Um, the following day we had a uh, chicken, the, the two chickens were village chickens that were literally alive when they brought them to my house. Keep in mind, a lot of the men are better chefs and cooks than the women. And it's because of their culture. Um, with their temple worship and so forth, the things that they do, the men are often in charge of the feasts and so forth, and ceremonies and so forth. And right. so watching this, uh, this gentlemen uh, cut things up and cook was just fun. I only hang out with Indonesians. You know, your previous video, uh, which you might want to remind them to watch that, uh, the one you just posted a few days ago about why people fail when they go international was spot on. I'm learning how to be a world traveler yeah. uh, on a budget. The only way I think you really get that is to just get out of your country, get out of your city, take a chance on life and go. I feel much safer here than I did in the United States. Yeah, we hired an engineer and I would suggest anybody that's even thinking about building a house over here to hire an engineer because you're going to get what you pay for. You can hire a local crew, but I guarantee you they're going to go over budget like they did on my guest house. But I came over December the 5th, 2018 for good. Dan, I left the rep race and jumped off the hamster wheel December the 5th, 2018. I've been coming over here on and off since 2009. I built the house, yeah. In the main house, we've got two bedrooms, one bath, and you know, you got the living room and dining room connected together. It's about 650 square feet. It looks a lot bigger and you know, that's, that's pretty big in the Philippines. And then I've since built a guest house for my subscribers. It's about the size of, of a typical hotel room with, you know, with, with all the amenities of a hotel room. And it's one, you know, basically one room a studio in a bath. Thirty dollars a month for electricity. Brazilians don't like tuna. There's yellowfin tuna available here for less than three dollars a pound. Vegetables? I don't know. Fifty cents a pound for all the usual vegetables. I could eat filet mignon or or, or uh, the the best fish some veggies, and what am I going to spend? But not much over a hundred dollars a month. Hundred restaurants in the neighborhood within within a 10 minute walk hey thanks for watching our video make sure to like comment and subscribe and ring the bell so you'll know when our next video comes out thanks so much